Number four, Jorge Gutierrez. Harper Camp, another high basketball IQ by Alan Crabb. He is back. He will start, and he should be a key contributor. Jorge Gutierrez, blue-collar guy, tough, tough, tough. Jorge Ivan Gutierrez Cardenas was born on December 27th, 1988. He was born and raised in Chihuahua, Mexico. It's a border state more infamously known for its violent cartels and abundant sweatshops. But George says Chihuahua meant something much different to him. It's where he found his passion for basketball. Most people think that soccer is the dominant sport in Mexico, he says. But in Chihuahua, it's basketball first. Es Chihuahua, tierra caliente y de buen basketball. No es casualidad que de este mismo lugar surgiera también Eduardo Nájera. Estas calles vieron partir al adolescente de 15 años. For Jorge, it was a family affair. My dad got me into basketball. He used to take me and my brothers with him to see him play all the time. So I think that allowed me to see the beauty of the sport. However, after growing frustrated with the lack of opportunity for basketball there, Jorge sneaked across the border illegally to attend high school and play ball at Denver's Lincoln High. Callado, luchador. Con la valentía de cruzar al otro lado del río Bravo por una vida mejor. Esta podría ser la descripción de cualquiera de los millones de mexicanos que cruzan a Estados Unidos sin importar el riesgo por el famoso sueño americano. Pero es también la historia del cuarto mexicano en jugar en la NBA. Jorge Gutiérrez. Denver's Magnet School for Spanish Speakers. Around 50% of its students were undocumented and 90% were Latino. Jorge didn't speak English. He had no family in Denver. His parents sent some money every month, but it didn't go far. La imagen de su madre llorando nunca salió de su cabeza. Fue difícil no nomás para mí, pero para mi familia. Yo creo fue lo, lo más difícil para mí ver a mi familia de sufrir, pero afortunadamente todo se dio. One of the most difficult things I faced was the culture. It was a totally different culture from what I was used to, Jorge said on his transition. Te me hubiera gustado ser un, haber sido niño unos, unos años más, pero esa fue la decisión que tomé yo, es la decisión por, por, por ir y, y comenzar un sueño que he tenido siempre toda mi vida. O sea, buscar un sueño, a buscar el sueño de, de jugar, de tener la oportunidad de hacer esto que estamos haciendo ahorita. De... After finding success on the court, Jorge and his Mexican teammates at Lincoln were inundated with bigotry. A radio broadcaster put them on blast, resulting in opposing fans wearing sombreros in the stands and racist insults were yelled at them as they progressed towards the state championship. Llegó a Lincoln High School y en 2007 llevó a la escuela a primer campeonato estatal en medio de una polémica contra el entrenador Vince Valdez por usar inmigrantes ilegales. Lincoln won Jorge's final game with the school and Colorado's Class 4A state title. Honestly, you look at them on the court and you could sense it. You could see they were the embodiment of the American dream, said one of their assistant coaches. At just 16, Jorge lived in a one-bedroom apartment with three other undocumented Mexican teens who had their own hoop dreams. Duramos ahí en Denver dos años, ganamos un campeonato estatal. Se da la oportunidad de ir a Las Vegas, a una escuela muy buena, con jugadores de División 1, la mayoría. Y después de eso, una, una beca, una de las escuelas más reconocidas del país. Overcoming poverty and frequent hunger pains, Jorge excelled in Denver, but few colleges were interested. No me dio ni una, un bajón, como se dicen por ahí, de, de que sentirme mal, de que no era muy bueno, para nada. Es este, nada más me abrió los ojos. After a post-grad year of prep school, Jorge accepted a scholarship offer from the University of California, Berkeley, but only after the, another young player had canceled on his commitment to join the school. Los Golden Bears de la Universidad de Berkeley le dieron la oportunidad de sobresalir en el college de Estados Unidos. Ahí logró lo que ni Jason Kidd pudo, ser el mejor ofensivo y defensivo de la conferencia Pac-10. 
pero cada día fue una nueva experiencia que me ayudó a crecer como hombre, como jugador. Over the next four years there, Jorge built himself into a star, winning the 2012 Pac-12 Player of the Year honors as a senior. Llegó la Liga de Verano de la NBA en 2012 y su participación con los Nuggets de Denver. On October 3rd, 2012, he joined Pioneros de Quintana Roo of Mexico for the rest of the 2012 LNBP season. On November 2nd, 2012, he was selected by the Canton Charge in the second round of the 2012 NBA D-League draft. In July 2013, Jorge joined the Sacramento Kings for the 2013 NBA Summer League. On September 30th, 2013, he signed with the Brooklyn Nets. However, he was later weighed by the Nets. In November 2013, he was reacquired by the Canton Charge. On March 6th, 2014, he signed a 10-day contract with the Brooklyn Nets and he made his debut against the Sacramento Kings with a win, making him only the fourth Mexican to play in the NBA. Well, it's a great, it's a great group, you know, great teammates, it's a great coaching staff, so I'm just learning a lot and you know, I feel very comfortable here. In just under five minutes of playing time, he recorded one point and one steal. On March 17, 2014, he signed another 10-day contract with the Nets and on March 21st, 2014, he recorded an NBA career high 10 points along with three rebounds, one assist, and one block in a 114-98 victory over the Boston Celtics. He went on to sign a multi-year deal with the Nets. On December 11, 2014, Jorge was traded alongside Andre Karolinko to the Philadelphia 76ers in exchange for Brandon Davies. The next day, Jorge was weighed by the 76ers. On February 20th, 2016, Jorge signed a 10-day contract with the Charlotte Hornets, and four days later, he made his debut for the Hornets in a loss against the Cleveland Cavaliers. He recorded four points, two assists, one steal, and four minutes off the bench. He went on to sign a second 10-day contract Hornets. and then he signed for the remainder of the season. On September 26, 2016, Gutierrez signed with the Brooklyn Nets, returning to the franchise for a second stint. However, he was later waived by the Nets after appearing in just three preseason games. Left it short, the follow, no, a second Whoa. try, and Gutierrez, about that. yeah, he just ripped down Zeller, who was not happy about it whatsoever, and the officials quickly in to break it up. Well, the good part about that play is, and here he comes down, he's just in no man's land defensively, but look, nobody else gets involved, and I don't think Zeller was going there either, to be honest. Jorge is currently playing with BG Gotenegengen of the Basketball Bundels Liga BBL, which is the highest professional league in Germany. Although his stint in the NBA was short-lived, Jorge has already accomplished the American dream. An American dream that came true in many ways when Jorge took his shot. Wow, that was beautiful. La llamada y festejo con su madre, aquella misma que hace 10 años. Lloraba por su partida a Estados Unidos. No, muy orgullosa, muy contenta. Este, nada más me pide que, que, que sea el mejor jugador, el mejor hombre posible y, y ya los resultados se darán. Por eso nuestro compromiso de dar lo mejor de nosotros en nuestras perspectivas competencias. Nos alistamos a competir por México. Nuestra meta es ganar.